Hello, welcome to a video about purchasing, loading onto your computer and the initial setup of this lovely simulator game, Train Simulator 2020. Not quite as easy as it looks. If we open the box, there's our DVD, there's our instructions. Not quite as easy as I thought. You can just get your DVD, pop it in your computer and uh, away it goes and you can play it. It's a bit more complicated than that but it's worth doing so uh, if you'll bear with me we'll get on with it. Something on the back of here, those system requirements. I was worried about this, whether my computer could run this system because obviously there's a lot of video, you need a lot of memory and uh, these details down here, you need Windows 7 or above. It says a quad core 3.5 gigahertz speed. You need 4 gigabytes of RAM and 40 gigabytes of hard disk space. I think I've got all that, but we'll check now. Looking at settings on my computer, it looks like I've got 5 cores. I've only got 3.1 gigahertz of speed. I've got enough RAM, I've got 7.45 of RAM, I've got 1 terabytes of uh, hard disk space, so I think I'm okay. We're going to give it a go anyway. Dovetail Games are the developer and publisher of these types of simulator, train simulators. This is their website. Uh, see they also do flights and fishing, so during the process you're going to ask to register into Dovetail Games and you must do this otherwise your DVD won't work in here so uh, I'm telling you this because uh, I had to learn it so you guys got to as well but from this home page as well as registering up there which you're going to do in a moment uh, this is where you can purchase the games there's uh, you can buy the train simulator online here we've got it on a DVD and you can buy these other things then add-ons you'll be able to buy all your other add-ons different routes that uh, you can go on so you've got to register for this uh, uh, but that will be part of the process that I'm going to take you through so let's take the instruction book out before we do anything at all something interesting on page one It's a good place to start getting started. Train Simulator 2020 is Steam powered. To install TS2020, you need to register it online with the Steam gaming service. And if you don't already have a Steam account, you will need to create one. For more information, visit www.train-simulator.com forward slash steam. Uh, so we're going to do that now. Dot com forward slash steam and go on that and slightly confusingly we end up on the dovetail games website which we're going to need anyway as we've discussed we need dovetail games we need to register with dovetail games and we need to register with steam but uh, Certainly with me, that first page here, the first item getting started, I thought I was registering for Steam, but it's not. It's registered with Dovetail Games, and we'll register with Steam later on. So if I click on register, then uh, as you start the registration process for Dovetail Live, and you'll need this, so do this now, and then we'll register for Steam later other ones the data I'm not going to show you guys but my email address my password and my date of birth so uh, I'm just going to do that off screen and then we're going to click the submit button and see see where it gets us I'll see you shortly then click on submit making notes of uh, your password and uh, your username and the usual way and it directs you back to the main screen again that's a super picture that one uh, and this orange thing at the top here, it says verify. Thank you for signing up for Dovetail Live. Please click in here, verify your email address. So almost certainly I'm clicking verify and they'll send me an email and then I've got to go into my emails, uh, which are down there uh, and uh, verify it on the email. 
So this is the home page of the Steam program that we're going to need to put on our computers to run the games that we've played. Now, I've already registered. Uh, I'll show you how I did that when we're halfway through the video. Uh, but you're going to need this. This is like a program on your computer within Windows that lets you play the games that you've bought. So I can only describe it as um, a facilitator program. Uh, but that's a program. The Dovetail Games is a website. You need to register for both of these. Just while I've got it, I'll just click on the game that I've got. It's given me my history that I've played it. Uh, I haven't played it much yet, but uh, if we open that, uh, that should come up with... And there's a button to play, and that's what we're going to learn later. But uh, all I'm doing today is the initial setup. So you're going to need to register for Steam and you need to register for Dovetail Games. Thank you. So let's put our DVD in the disk drive on the computer. Just place it nicely there, check that everything's free moving and pop it back in. And we can hear it whir into life and uh, let's see what happens. So the DVD might fire up from the start, but otherwise you've got to find your disk drive and uh, got to try and run Setup EX from your media or run the program from your media. So let's have a look. I'm going to open autoplay. Install or run program from your media. Run Setup EX. Install or run program from your media. So we're going to click on on that one. I was rather hoping it would come up from the start. Choose language. Oh that's it there, so something's happening. Install train simulator. Install train simulator 2020. That's the one we're going on. I accept the terms and install. Do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? I think we're going to have to say yes on this one. I accept the terms. See, that's where to store it. That all looks good. It's found a file to put it in. C program files version 6. Now we sit back and wait. Just at this point I realized that this was just loading the steam part of the program. Uh, a bit later on we're going to put the actual train simulator on but we've got to put steam on first. I think it's in the instructions. It says in the instructions here that steam will be installed first and that's what it's doing there it may update itself at various points it says which is what it's doing now you must choose whether to create a new steam account or use an existing one now it's updating steam it's doing that or a steam logo on the desktop up here this is obvious we got this page, create a Steam account or log into an existing Steam account. Now, if this is the first product you've bought and run, it's create a new one. So, let's go. So, I'm going to fill in my email addresses there. Click I'm not a robot. And hopefully set up this Steam account. Uh, I'll be back to you as soon as I've filled in my email data. So, I've put in my two passwords and I've made up a name for the account and it complete sign up. New account created successfully. Please close this window or click continue to sign in with your new account. So we've got Steam on the desktop and we've got our Steam account. If we go through the instructions it says we've got to enter our game activation code on the back of the user manual which is there, there's my code, I'm not going to show you that, but we're going to put that one in, so 
I think I've got to open up the Steam program. Down here, activate a product. So let's go to that. So our product code is going to go in here. And again, sensitive data, so I'm not showing you that, so I'll switch off and I'll come back. At this point, just wanted to show you obviously that you could have bought this program online from the Dovetail Games website. See here it is the same price as the DVD. Download the program and you'll get your activation codes and we'll end up in the same place. So log into your account. You will need to create your Dovetail Games account and buy your product and uh, you go through it all and eventually they'll send you the uh, activation codes by email and away you go so we'll be back at that next window so at the bottom of your confirmation email you've got to click here to print your invoice which I do like doing and click here to get access to your products so uh, this should give us please find below the instructions to activate and download your digital products click the instructions button for each product and read the installation guide carefully Please cl click on the unlock the activation key to reveal the product key. Please have a note that by unlocking the action key you'll be losing your right to return this product or request a refund. Well, we're okay with that. Should we click on instructions first? To activate and download your product please follow the following steps. If you don't have a Steam account, create one. We know that. Download and install Steam. Launch Steam and log on to your Steam account. Click on plus add a game in the bottom left hand corner. Enter your activation key, which is we're going to get from there. You then see the game in the library. Click on install. Once installed, click play. Follow steps three onwards if you've already got a Steam account. So that's all good stuff. So it's getting quite exciting now. Whether you've bought the DVD or whether you've bought your product online, we're back ready to put our activation codes in. And uh, it said previously, bottom left hand corner of your Steam page, the product that you, you've bought since so Train Simulator 2020. So we're getting round to installing this. This is the page we're going to come across. Clearly with an install button. And uh, let's see, let's see, we're ready to go. <coughs> and this, we've got an install button here, so we put the codes in, it's inviting us to install, so... You're about to install Train Simulator. Create Desktop Shortcut, yes. Create Start Menu Shortcut, yes. Disk space requires seven gigabytes disk space. So read this agreement in its entirety. I'm a speed reader, so uh, all of this looks pretty damn good to me. So we agree with all that. So we're, here we are on my my page, logged into uh, the Steam program on my computer, and we're downloading TS2020. We've got uh, more than halfway through here. Here's what we bought. Looks like we've got three routes, different types of motive power. So we're on our way. So that's our home page, that's what we get when we get it all loaded in there, and that's in same as in the instruction book. There's a page there, so I've just had a brief reading of that, but it looks like we've loaded it and it looks like something it's gonna work. Well that's it. Thank you for watching. Can't wait to get this game started now.